Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Lucy back again and today we'll be making a just a simple Fortnite thumbnail teaching you guys how to you know pose it, light it, everything like that. I will be making a in-depth lighting tutorial. I think it'll be the next tutorial, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. <clears throat> so first thing, um usually you want want to start on making the body look less stiff and like you could just do that by posing the legs and the backbones like i see a lot of people make this mistake like they make it stiff like i used to make this mistake like just until like maybe two three weeks ago like i felt like i never had to do it but like once i started doing it it really was like night and day so yeah like so something you could do is like move the leg forward, maybe one backwards. Um, oops. And you know, come like that, and make sure it's straight on the flat on the ground. Yeah. And then maybe like this, and then this can be like yeah, like that. Like be like that, and then this one is your waist. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so you want to, like, move it to, like, to match your legs. So, like, the body would obviously slant, like, this way and not, like, this way. So, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit like that. Alright. And you want to, like, just bend that backwards. And then you want to slowly, like, rotate it forward until your preference. Oops. And down. And you also want to just move the neck just like a little bit because you know humans aren't perfect and you just want to move the camera um, the, um, maybe more closer like that and you might want to like face the model to the camera so i'm just going to do that quickly um, Alright, so now I, if you want, you could add a weapon, which I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a neat trick, which I learned from a friend. I'll put his YouTube channel on the screen. He also made a tutorial how to make this not stiff. So I'll just show, put them on the screen right now. And yeah, we'll be back after. Alright, so now I'm just going to pour um, a weapon. And I'll show you how to attach it to a bone. Alright guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I got a bunch of weapons. And let me just choose one. Um, let me see the color of the skin before it match. Okay, it's kind of like a pink color, pink and black. Maybe like attack would look clean with it. So yeah. All right, I'm back. I just deleted all the other weapons, and I'm pretty sure this is textured. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm using Octane, so it's different. And if you're wondering how to pull up this like side panel I got going, you just wanna like. Do you see this like little part where like these two meet together? It's gonna. You just wanna drag it out. And yeah, back. So now I'm just gonna put this weapon in here. That'll make sure it's inside. Yeah, it's okay. You want to make sure it's at point zero eleven. I'm just gonna slide this here. Make sure to like put it near the arm if you can. This will make it easier because we'll attach it. So like this thing will what's it called move with its hands instead of reposing both that like keep on doing it like if we could attach it it will stay on there forever if you do it correctly and here let me just first get this lined up and I'll be back all right I'm done with the posing I mean like putting it where I want it and so now I'm just gonna click on the weapon and click this thing and just click add object to constraint then child of and I'm going to target 
and you have these bones on the arm so I'm just gonna click that one I'm gonna click the bone and you want to pu put this bone whatever you know kind of like hand it is like if it's the left hand put it to the left hand if it's the right hand put the right hand and like any other bone it would be and then so I'm just gonna go hand and then this is the right hand of the skin if you look at it from this way and you wanna as you can see there's nothing right just wanna hit set and bruise and that will bring it back and then you just wanna pose it and I'll be back after posing this Alright guys, I think I got it like how I want it and now you can just move this stuff freely and see how it's not it's moving with the bones It's kind of like acting like it's a part of it. And so now you just want to uh, Pose it to however you like Alright guys, um, I just finished posing it and I think I like it like this and now Pretty much it's just the final touches, which is just like facial expressions and stuff like that. Like, you might want to move, like, I'm just going to make like a kind of like pissed off or like serious face. Something you would also want to do is like move the hair. The, like, that really gives it that like nice look. Like, it's like that just detail. And like the skin's kind of looking left, so the wind would be like like this. And you could also move the face how you want it, but I kind of like how it is right now. And and if you need lighting, I would add some lights in the back like this. It's like just rim lights. You don't really need them. You just give it a nice touch. You gotta make sure your background matches it though. So just don't. Don't add room lights if the sunlight's not, you know, from the back. And if you're on octane, this is just octane. I like to put the latitude at 90. And I just keep on messing around with the longitude. Like, I'm just going to do that right now. Mess with the longitude. Oh, it's not. One sec, let me just fix that. It's not. Alright, just, it's not. What's it called? Alright. No, no. But you just fix the lighting. I think I like it how it is right now. But you can mess around it until you like it. And yeah. That's how you make a Fortnite thumbnail. Um, like and subscribe if you want. And yeah. Peace out.